free cash flow. Um, Chu is here with a look at the ETF that tracks those names. Hi, John. So there's a focus on quality, right? When, when markets tend to go lower, people are focused a little bit more on things like balance sheet strength, ability to generate profits, that sort of thing. And this is one chart that kind of shows in particular just that move towards quality. This is the Spider MSCI USA Strategic Factors ETF, the ticker is QUS. It is outperforming the overall broad market, the S&P 500, but you can see there just about 3% overall. This is focusing on things like, again, balance sheet strength, higher quality companies. Now, if you take a look at this new kind of breed of factor ETFs, ones that focus specifically on free cash flow yield, you take a look at one in particular that's getting some attention right now. That is the Pacer US Cash Cows ETF, ticker COWZ. It's actually positive on the year versus the S&P 500, and you can kind of see that gap in performance has gotten kind of wider as the year has progressed. Now, the interesting part about this particular ETF is that it focuses, again, for the name cash cows, on those companies that generate a lot of free cash flow. So the ability to make money after paying off all of your expenses, all your debts, and all your interest payments, and everything else, what do you have left for things like dividend payments and stock buybacks and everything? So free cash flow, after all that's taken into account, has done really well. Now, the curious part about this particular kind of outperformance, right, these quality, low volatility ETFs, the, type, the types of companies that are in this particular ETF, cows, mm -hmm. three of the top five holdings and five of the top ten are in one sector in particular. Let me and guess. I, let me, I'm going to give you one guess. You're going to get two guesses, but you only need Oh, one. it's right behind you on the screen. Take a look at this, <laughs> right? You yeah. look at this. It is Valero, Occidental, and Phillips 66. Each of these stocks in the oil and gas business is each within the top five. Exxon is also in there. EOG is in the top ten. So five of the top ten top holdings in oil and gas. Are all of the companies in that cow's uh, ETF in the S&P 500 or not necessarily? Russell 1000. Russell 1000. screen them for the highest free cash flow yield. And so the highest free cash flow yielding company would have the biggest percentage in the fund. Each is capped at 2%. Each is capped at 2%. He has all the answers. Don't you, man. And the best so ETF name ever. <laughs> all right, go, go to listen to us on the Power Lunch podcast, all your favorite podcast app. And go watch Closing Bell.